guys what's up Rajat here from world of vfx i hope you really enjoyed this amazing introductional video and this is the most realistic render ever i have created in my entire career so let's recreate so first of all go to file new level and empty level press create and don't save and here you can find a blank new canvas so where you need to import your model so i have already downloaded the model from sketchfab so just simply go to the model pack and uh, add the static mesh and you can find your models you can anything like drag and drop and it will automatically import within glv format and i already shown before like how you can import glv format with textures you can really use that so here i'm just drag and drop this so you can find this model and let's increase the shape just like this so it's increased and you can see this model is looking up like this only now we need to add the environment so for environment we are using the hdri backdrop so hdri and you can find this hdri backdrop simply drag and drop and you can find this hdri backdrop just like this now you need to import the hdri image to project this on the background so again i have downloaded few so simply close the static mesh and you can find this hdri now if you import any exr file it will not work let me show you so this is a exr file and if you really want to use this file is in hdri simply select this drag and drop it can show a red error so basically you have to convert this exr file into hdri now to convert i'm using this converter it will convert the exr file into hdri simply convert and download and import it into uh, you know unreal engine and also for uh, the hdris i'm using this production create uh, hdri packs this is a completely free and amazing amazing quality all right after importing your hdri simply drag and drop this into here and you can find this like this you just need to go here and you just need to change the projection method simply click and type sky and then sky sphere and it will comes like this and you can see the entire sky under this press g on your keyboard so that you can see entire sky under this now increase the size so let's make it to 800 and now if you notice it start hitting the light on the model now i'll have some changes i'll just uh, add some projection center because it will rotate on left and right if you select this you can rotate this in left and right not in this direction this is a issue i don't think this is a good idea so first of all i just need to change this to let's say around 9000 press enter and let's make it to 5000 and enter and now you can see the lights are hitting on this model now the intensity is too high let's decrease it to 0.8 and there is no direct sunlight over here if you notice there is no direct sunlight so what i'll do i'll just add a directional light so go to light and uh, directional light automatically once you create you can see now it's looking more real isn't it now there is all the camera angle camera tricks basically so what do you really need to do go to level sequence and save and take a new camera and uh, make sure you just uh, change this let's say digital to dslr and universal zoom to 30 millimeter so this is a prime lens now to make this a cinematic style you just need to make a crop so what do you need to do go to this crop sensor and make it to 2.39 and now it can look like this is a you know cinematic cropped now go to exposure just simply type exposure go here and increase and in fact decrease the exposure so that you can see all the details over here and obviously turn this apply one now make sure type lumen and enable everything which included lumen this will basically helps you to create the lumen light setup which is basically made for unreal engine all the shadows everything will be in the lumen now simply close this and now type bloom and over there you can find this bloom option simply check this on as well and next most importantly chromatic chro and make sure intensity should turn down and make sure a little bit increase slightly and you are done now if you change the hdri you can really see some changes so i'll show you one more hdri with different settings simply drag and drop and boom you can see the earth behind this and as i turned on the bloom effect you can automatically see it started adding some you know realistic lighting here and uh, rest is all about the camera angle camera animations and all so just change this settings so i'll just uh, decrease like change the rotations a little bit so that it's feel like it's in real space and that's it now go here 
make some camera animations first frame go to last frame slight movement because in space there's very slight movements select all right click linear and yup that's it go back and play and you are done so yes in this way you can create so many realistic renders using space also you can create this in real life as well not only space if you have a good high quality hdri you can use this anywhere to make some realistic renders so i hope this video is helpful for you i know i'm not uh, consistent in this channel sorry for that but yes whenever i'll upload the videos that will be best one so please do subscribe to our channel world of vfx and till then keep watching keep rocking world of vfx bye, -bye.